embarrassing. Put your shoe back on. Dude, she Come tripped on. me. She did not trip you. She was nowhere near you. Hey, back away. Hey, fire, get back to your side, man. I'm fine, ladies. She stuck her leg out and Hurry she up. tripped me. Hurry up. Come on. You tried. I'm going to take her. All right, cool. All right. She's mine now. All right, medics is going to stop here. Get the ball back. Come on. Could have caught her. <laughs> okay. Mm. How'd it go? How uh, we stuck it to the fire department. Right on. Right. Nice. There you go. Thanks. Have a good one. Hey, uh, Parker, am I gonna find another open can of tuna in my glove compartment? Ah, uh, is he kidding me? I'm more creative than that. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. A couple of giant turds. Check. What else we got? So the deceased name is Ben Philcox. He worked for CSIS as a communication specialist. And that's a polite way of saying he's a spy. Yeah. Some spy. I don't see any hidden chambers or special weapons. I know, it's very disappointing. So who found him? His mother. She couldn't reach him for a couple of days and got worried, I guess. The body's back here. Looks like Philcox had a special little hobby. <laughs> nice way to find your son. Is he married? No. Our super spy, Ben Philcox, was a bachelor. Apparently kept to himself. Looks like ligature marks on his ankles. Well. <laughs> yeah. That's why we use safe words. I guess his playmate didn't want to stick around. We have his cell phone, right? Yeah. Well, let's try to find this uh, person of interest. Me choose yet? Yeah? I just don't think that's fair. I'm not, I don't think I'm a hater. Hey, this one was OMGing and LOLing with her BFFs while in the club. And I think she might have been drinking a little bit too, right? My shoulder hurts. It's because it's separated. Let that be a lesson, huh? Always wear flats when sexting. It really hurts. I need some more painkiller. Okay, we've like so given you all the painkillers we can. Let's say we just get you down to x ray. Hmm? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Megan. Uh, no more texting. <laughs> Doctor's orders. I'm sorry, sweetie. Megan's OK. Thank you. Speaking of sexting, what'd you guess? Yeah. Are you two off shift? I just got to get the rig back and then change. What's up? Well, I was thinking, you know, nightcap. Oh, nightcap. Yes, nightcap. All right, you guys go ahead. I, um, I'm really not off duty yet. So, TTYL, Toby. You were Ben Philcock's lover, right? We went through his phone records. We know he called you and you went to his house. So what happened? Rough sex gets out of control. Perfect. Perfect. After we finished, you went to take a bath. I found him in the tub. She's lying. So why didn't you call the police or an ambulance? <laughs> It's looked after. I just panicked. Something's wrong here. She planted the bondage gear. I know you're lying. Fine, we'll put you in a 72 hour lockup until we get to the bottom of this. You wouldn't do that. You don't think so? Yes, sir. 
Okay. Thank you, sir. I'm Michelle. She's free to go. She works for CSIS. Seems like your naughty girl is a spy. CSIS agent into leather? Oh, why can't I meet women like that? Okay, you know what? I probably told you too much already. I'm just gonna stop. You know, this is not just your normal criminal case. What? Come on, you see any hidden cameras here? It's me. That's not the point, it's man. It's us. Besides, if you wanted to know about trench coats and poison darts, I'm your man. All right. Why, why would they make up a story like that? Disinformation. Disinformation. Yep, trying to ruin the guy's reputation. They make everybody focus on one story, and then you got the truth underneath it covered up. Standard boilerplate spy agency stuff. Here. Yeah. What movie did you get that from? It was a book. My question is, what is so important about this guy? The real question is, what was so important about this guy that would make CSIS pull such a stupid stunt? I know. That makes you wonder why sometimes they're called intelligence agencies. Can you open this, please? I spoke with Ottawa. They want CSIS to say they're sorry. Oh, nice. Maybe we can have a healing circle as well. <laughs> Apparently, a couple of their field agents were improvising on the fly. CSIS is now promising their full cooperation. So lies don't work and they resort to the truth. Are you... Hungover? Yes. Drinks with a college friend. I don't remember the cab ride home. But my cognitive powers are about to kick in any second now. There you go. Okay, the reason why everyone is so jumpy is because Ben Philcox traveled on the regular to Baltimore, where uh, he consulted with the CIA. He had access to classified American intelligence. And that's why the CSIS wants to know whether that's what he was murdered over. Of course, they're asking for IIP's help. Right, now that they've compromised the evidence. See what I can do? I don't have to tell you that we're probably only seeing the tip of the iceberg here. Well, I will try to avoid the full-on Titanic. Yes, please. Sorry. Hey. Hey. So what do you have? Well, autopsy results are in. Cause of death, asphyxia due to drowning, but his lungs were filled with heavily chlorinated water. Forensics is thinking like a swimming pool or a hot tub, something like that. So he was drowned and then brought to his house to make it look like he died there. Yeah, I looked at the cell phone records and they placed Phil Cox in the area of Spadina and Wellington. Pools? Yeah. There's 22 in a three block radius. There's no way to tell how many hot tubs though. But there's a whole whack of cameras that they put up for the G20 summit. And I found this. Here we go. Uh, Friday night, 945, Spadina. He turns on to Wellington and heads west, but I didn't find any footage of him exiting Wellington. And? And there's one pool, Thompson Hotel. I know the doorman. Of course you do. You want to go check it out? Yeah. Can we make this quick? It's my day out. Now remember, you got to think for faces. Don't mean I know names. Hey, you recognize this guy? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Is he a hotel guest? He comes to the Friday night games. Poker? Real high stakes. It's supposed to be kept discreet, so management don't like us talking about it. Well, who else is at these games? I don't know names. If you check the security cameras, you'll see they black these guys' faces out when they come. Look, I could lose my job just for talking to you. Yeah, you'll lose your job. You're making me misty. My mascara, it's running. Shit. <laughs> Let's get all I know. It's, uh, it hurts now, but trust me, it's gonna hurt more later. Okay, this is for bicycle stuntmen. Learned the hard way, but do not try this at home means, did you? In the epic battle of iron railing versus groin, there can only be one winner, Sandy. The guy, uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. Oh, okay. Do you get extra pay when he takes off like that? You got extra work. How's it going? Good. I have something else for you to do. Uh, you got more spook stuff for me, do you? One or the other. <laughs> um, all right. Let's get him down to x-ray. Let's try 10 milligrams of morphine. I already gave him five better on uh, 2130. Really? Yeah. Probably got a little pain threshold. Than you like that club girl we brought in. Yeah, well, pain management's tricky business. Thank you. Hug. 
I was uh, surprised to uh, get your call. I needed information, and I thought, who better? You thought of me when you needed information? <laughs> hey, Adam, how you doing, man? Good. Just like the old days, huh? Yeah, except now you don't really own the place, right? You're such a peach. I'm going to get it back, though. I got a plan. You have a plan. Of yeah. course you do. Mm -hmm. Listen, Oh, I... wait, wait, no. I, I was in Florence, and I saw this. Thought of you. 1892 Shelly. It's got some great plates. Still like Shelly. Hey, Adam. Hey, man. I do. I hardly have time to fit in poetic justice. Well, that's a crying shit. Listen, I have to ask you about a game. No. Come Are on. you kidding? Just one dance. No. 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 <laughs> Seriously. Okay, it's weekly high stakes played in the penthouse of the Thompson. Are you talking business? How would <laughs> I trying. possibly know about <laughs> poker games? I don't do that anymore. Remember? Oh, you don't? No. So if I go and, and hit your speed dial, I'm not going to get a bookie named Sid? His name is Ernesto. Ah, Ernesto. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm guessing you know some people who could give you some information. If it's that important to you, I will make some inquiries. I would appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And what do I get in return? Uh, thank you, Note. Perfume. Don't push it. Uh, I just have to take care of something. I'll be back in one second. Okay. Good. Okay, I did stop. not expect the dancing. Yeah. That was like a bonus. Okay. Was, no, was, what did you get? What did I get? He's lying to you about being out of gambling. That doesn't surprise me. But uh, he is sincere about wanting to help you. Good. How well do you know this guy? Why? There was other details, visuals. I mean, look good in black lingerie, the stockings. Ah. Got her belt. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, well, that makes sense. Does it? He's my husband. What? So McCluskey digs the bad boy, eh? Well, he's more like a playboy, really. Huh. That's kind of hot, actually. How's that hot? How's that hot? I got my phone. <laughs> Yeah, it just goes to show you don't really know who you know until you know him. Ain't that right, Parker? Right. I'm actually a masked crime fighter by night. You're kidding. I would have pegged Toby. I was way off. <laughs> Where would I find the time? I don't know. <laughs> uh, OK. Yeah. Looks like you might be right about this high roller poker game. Cecil did some deep sea drilling into Phil Cox's private life. Turns out he drained his bank account and Max's line of credit over the last six weeks, roughly the same time as those poker games. And what did he make a year? 75, give or take. So where did he get the money to stake in? Someone could have staked him. Yeah, and then got him into debt up to his eyeballs. It's a classic spy move, find a weakness and then exploit it. So somehow he has to repay these debts. The savings are gone. What does he have left of value? Yeah, access to classified information. On his last trip to NSA, Phil Cox accessed files he shouldn't have. Names of operatives operating in hot zones. Well, if that's what he was dealing, then every mission is in jeopardy. Yeah, not to mention their lives. Hey, can you get me a coffee? Uh, no. Well, you're closer. Like two steps. Where's your sense of humor? Sergeant McCluskey, Adam is waiting in the conference room. Thank you. Sweet office, Mish. Congratulations. Thank you. You forgot this. I did. I yes. hope not on purpose. No, of course not. No, of course not. So what did you find out? 
Well, this game has been going on apparently for the last six weeks every Friday. And the only way in through the door is to stake up 150 large. Keeps the riffraff out. So who gets in? Pros, wannabes, invitees. The only real absolute is the cash. And what kind of security will be at the game? Well, they'll be concerned about cheats, so they'll be sweeping for electronics. Windows? Blacked out for sure. Well, I need to find out what's going on in that game besides poker. Well, I could help you out if you would just tell me what it is I'd be looking for. It's classified. My hands are tied. I gotta know what it is I'm walking into here. I'm sorry, I can't tell you. Well, then I'm sorry, I can't help you. Okay, okay, okay. A CSIS operative was murdered, and we think the answers to why and who did it are in that game. Murdered, huh? So you need a madly skilled poker player with rakish good looks to what? Charm the info at him? I thought you didn't play anymore. The things we do for love, huh? Uh, yeah. <sighs> okay. If I do this, though, I get to keep my winnings. No, this is a police operation, and if anyone goes in, it'll be one of my guys. No way, these guys will smell a cop. Then we'll set someone up as staff. That'll be about it. The only way to get a seat at a table like this is to be a legitimate poker player. And I think the reason why I'm here is because I'm still the best one you know. Okay, say I agree, and I haven't yet. I would still want one of my guys to go with you. They're gonna get sussed out. No, this guy's different. Different, huh? Dancing in the moonlight and a speedo kind of different. I will set up a meet to introduce you to. I can't wait. Hey, I'm really sorry to bother you at home. I know you, you just weren't picking up your phone, and it's really important. Hmm. Oh. I'll just be a second. Just work with Annie. She's really tall. She's athletic. Yeah. Uh, you are underwear. Hey, Sandy. Oz, hey. Hey. What are you doing here? I need to talk to you for a second. OK, look, I know I keep putting you off. It's just my work schedule. It's kind of a nightmare right now. And oh, I... no, it's not that. Oh. Yeah, I, uh, I need to ask you a favor on the QT. What sort of favor? I need you to get something tested for me. Where this is going. It's not bad. It's just, you know, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah? For you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's really good to see you. Cool. Okay. Pocket, pocket, pocket. It's morphine off the truck. I'll explain later. Walk away. <sighs> Thank you. So, you weren't trying to reschedule our date? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I thought this was, this is, this is work us. You know, not that there's an us. You know, you and me. So this is separate from Matt. OK. Right? It's cool. So we can figure that out whenever you have time. Because I have time. I have time. I'm good for time. I have some time. OK. I'll text you. Yes. OK. Sure. Cool. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. OK. <laughs> so so what, do you, what do you think? Will you do it? Well, uh, you know, I can read the players' minds. I can see what cards they have. Uh, I won't be able to change what cards they get or what cards I get. I can't change the fate of the game. No, no, no. I just want you to be the fish. What's the fish? Oh, sorry, you live with the gambler for six years. You pick up their lingo. The, the fish is someone that comes to the game with uh, a lot of money and little experience. And the other players, the, the sharks, they circle the fish. So you don't care if I win or lose? No. You're just there to tell me what the hell's going on. Cool. All right. And keep an eye on Adam. I, uh, I think your tall friend is waiting for you. She is probably, yeah. Uh, I will. Yeah, I'll help you out. Okay. Cool. Wish me luck. Toby Logan, meet Adam Reynolds. Come in. Hey. Look, I am sure that you're a good cop and all, but we're going to do this. I want to make sure you're not going to screw it up. Nice to meet you, too. Give me a cut. You want to run a hand? Boy's bright. Well, I wouldn't normally fold that pair of jacks, but I will. 
want to know why. You're folding. Yeah, enlighten me. Because I saw you mark the cut in the deck. So let's just pretend like everything is status quo and I didn't do that, I didn't fold. I'm playing this hand. What do you have? 6-8, suited. Not bad. Look at that. Three jacks. I'm looking good, man. Okay. Four spades. Let's see what happens here. Oh, no spade. Flush. So that's why I folded my pair of jacks. So, did I pass the audition? Yeah, we'll do. Just uh, get yourself some decent clothes. Now, all we need is an invite to the game. We've set up a meet for you guys to get yourselves an invitation from Jake Coogan. Jake Coogan, the Brit. You know him. Yeah, you could say that. Okay, well, you guys were a wire and we set up surveillance. No, that's how people get hurt. Look, we go in, no wire, not gonna be heroes, but we do promise that we'll get into that game. Is that okay with you? You good with that? Me? I'm all in. All right, for the game, Holmes. Whoa. Oh, oh. Ah. Ah. E, H-O-R-S-E, five bucks. You had me at home. Do that. You know, you got your little investigation going. I got something in the works, too. Eh? Got a boy. Initiative. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Say so you had a coworker that you thought was playing with fire. Not like in the fire, but just sort of poking at him. What'd you do? Tell him what I thought. You tell him what you thought, though, right? Not management? Right. Yeah. Talk to him. I already had to say. Right. But you know, I need your help. I'm looking for a new suit. Why didn't you say so, my good man? Osman Bey, sartorial consultant at your service. I got an uncle who used to work in the garment district. Yeah, I don't doubt that. <laughs> oh, thank you. This is clean, right? Yeah. So it turns out Jake Coogan has got an Interpol file. He's into import-export with ties to some insurgent groups. Groups would be very interested in getting their hands on some classified American information. Maybe he found out about Phil Cox and his gambling problem. Coogan sets up a series of big money games and gets Phil Cox in so deep that he can blackmail him. Phil Cox turns over whatever classified information he has, and the next night he gets murdered. Right, maybe he outlived his usefulness. Or got cold feet and just greedy. Well, the real question is, has the killer already passed on the information to some foreign power? I don't think so. Um, the CIA intercepted some chatter about a grade A American intel exchange going down this Friday night in Toronto. Poker game. Exactly. Hey, Michelle. Uh, tell me if I'm out of balance on this one, but do you really think it's a good idea to bring Adam into this investigation? I think it's a little late for second guessing. I, I just... You're just getting your life back together. I don't want to see you get all mixed up in that again. Thank you, but I think I'll be okay. I'm just gonna go get ready for the stakeout. You know what? Take your night off. Yeah. 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 I feel like the basketball player. Yeah, you look like you just came from All-Star Weekend. No. You look like an unemployed magician. The <laughs> couple saw you somewhere. Yes. Now we're talking, my friend. What do you think? A little Frank and Dino. But that's good, Toby. Poker's about perception. You don't play the cards. You play the players, man, and you look like... Yeah, you look like a player. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. I think you're supposed to cough when you're supposed to cough. Yeah, yeah. And you know the best part? You got enough left in your soup budget for me to get something. No. Just a shirt. No. Pocket square. No. Want to try the dollar? Yeah. Hello, Jake. Hello, Adam. It's been a long time. <laughs> this geese has got more bollocks than brains. How's about we have a little chat about that hundred grand you took from me, right? What's up? You lost it, my friend. <laughs> now, what do you reckon that the interest is on hundred grand over about a year, eh? <laughs> you? I don't know who you are, so keep your mouth shut. So where's my money? Everybody hits the river, buddy. Just my lucky day. And you've been ducking me ever since? I get a drink here or something? So now you're back? Yeah, we uh, heard about this little Friday night game you got going on. We want in. 
Sorry, mate. It's for gentlemen only. Can I assume you're scared? Scared? Yeah. Ask the last geezer who crossed me. Oh, yeah. I'm quaking in my Italian loafers. Who's the tosser? Mm. Me? Oh, sorry. Uh, Toby Logan. Is that supposed to mean something? Well, I uh, got what it takes. I want in on your game. Did you hear that, girls? A kid here thinks he's got what it takes. He's got the cash, Jake. I'll vouch for him. I won't hold that against him. Come on. I'm giving you a chance here to win back your money. You're not going to take me up on it? No respect. I'll let these geezers in after town. I'll know about the game. Mr. Coogan, I just want to let you know that if I win or lose, no one's going to hear about this game. I'm going to keep it on the down low. Friday night. Bring some cash and some spare bollocks. Thanks, Jack. Look forward to taking your money again. Oh, and uh, thanks for the scotch. How do you like it? Pay for it next time, why don't you? Girls, get the bikinis on. Eugene, you stay there, son. <laughs> Coogan murdered Phil Cox, and he's probably got the information, right? I mean, why can't you just arrest him? Because we still don't have any proof, and even if we did, Coogan is only the seller. We still have to figure out who the buyer is. Okay, and the buyer is probably going to be at the game. My guess is Coogan doesn't even know who he's passing the info to. This is just like in a movie when a spy he leaves a briefcase at a train station, and another spy picks it up. It's called a dead drop. Neither knows who the other one is. That way, if either one of them is caught, the whole operation will collapse. So all I have to do is figure out who Coogan is passing the information to. Exactly. And then you pass the info on to me. Cool. Well, I thought this uh, place was surveillance proof. Well, the poker room is. Dev is uh, putting a discreet listening device close to the bar, and the people take breaks and high stakes poker. Yeah. Biggest game of poker I had before this had 150 bucks. Now I'm going to be playing with 150 grand. That's <laughs> really hard. Get the results of the morphine? Yeah. And? And when I saw them, I told Olivia. What? What'd you do that for? She did that because she was doing the right thing. Thank you, Sandy. Come here. Oz, what is going on? Um, Come here. Okay. This morphine is diluted with saline solution. What gives? I'm not sure exactly. I just know that the last couple of times we've given morphine to a patient, it hasn't really kicked in like it's supposed to. So it came off your truck? Yeah. And someone is siphoning off the morphine for their own use. And then replacing it with saline so nobody notices. I think it's one of the guys we share a rig with. I just, I didn't want to say anything until I was sure. I have to report it. No, 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 no. I'm, I have to report Can it. Can you just let me try to handle this my way first, please, Liv? Please? Fine. But if it doesn't work out, I am legally obliged to report it. Okay. How did you get in here? Ah, you know, good old Klein. A couple drinks, gave me the keys to the kingdom. So you've been drinking. So you've been working. You're not backing out on me, are you? No. I'm just a little concerned about our boy Logan. You know me. I like to work alone. Yes, I've noticed. Yeah. Miss that smell. <sighs> It's called sweat. I've been here for 14 hours and I need a shower. That was like the one you were dirty. <sighs> Anyone see us in here? There's two cameras. Should we turn them off? Trust you. <laughs> that is a 
whole new meaning to the term petty cash. Well, it's all gonna need to be accounted for. This will be fun. Hey, Cooks. Everybody sorted? Fall. He's bumping it up a little. Everybody called? Of course, Montreal kicks it. Montreal kicks it. Very good. Thank you. I'll take these. Maybe he's got nothing. Too tight to blow for three, but play tight for a few hands. Looks like an easy win. I could take him. Take him. Two pairs. The beauty is tonight I win, no matter what. Gentlemen, I can't catch a break, so I'm gonna take one. Play of flops. You doing okay for drinks? Cool. Have a scotch, please. Sure. Yourself? I'm good. You're busy. Yeah. Double duty. Chips, booze, whatever you need. I'll take a vodka this time. Oh. <laughs> Just slip into the snack, and away we go. Maybe we'll both get lucky later, if you know what I mean. I fold. I'm gonna grab some fresh air. Gentlemen, let's all take a break after this hand. There's a poker chip with a microchip in it. Coogan's put it in his stack. Well, somebody's got to end up with it. Hi, just wanted to let you know the game's resuming. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, uh, I don't even like playing there, to be honest with you. Game's back on in five. Toby. Toby. What's wrong? This guy's not your sword? No, I, I prefer playing online poker. I'm playing my pajamas. You don't have to look the idiots in the eyes. I wonder where you've got to. You trying to pull my bird? What is it? I mean... <laughs> You've got some brass bollocks, and I'll give you that. Come on, game's starting. <laughs> Garbage out. Unwinnable. Now's the time. All in. Clear all in. Dead drop. Neither knows who the other one is. So all I have to do is figure out who Coogan is passing the information to. Exactly. And then you pass the info on to me. I'm bluffing, Coogs. Do you reckon? The left cheek always twitches when you do. That's how I got you in Belize. What do you think, Logan? Is my left cheek twitching? I fold. Player folds. Your mate doesn't think I'm bluffing. How much is that? 170? Ish. Come on. They're all in. Pair of kings. Thank you, poker gods. Thank you, Michelle. I'm with you, buddy. All the way. All right. No uh, chance. I know. Player folds. Show up. Yeah. Check. <laughs> I can beat that. Jake, I can read you like a book. Pair of cowboys. Bring it. All right. It's a beautiful ace, isn't it? Mm. It's made my day. Too bad. Come on, no king. Bring it, baby. Bring it. Bring it. Set of kings. I can't believe it's him. Mr. Bolts for brains. Never would have guessed.
guest. Worked like a child. Done me again, Reynolds. I'm finished. Heidi, sort of tells us. Thank you, gentlemen. Jake's is getting me a bad habit. Thanks for the game. Always a pleasure, Ronnie. Congratulations, sir. Well done. Good hand, good hand. Rebecca? See you downstairs. The guy you're looking for, it's, it's Adam. He's on his way down. Sorry. What? No, that can't be. We brought him into the game. Okay, sure gets all the chips no matter who won. Where is she? She's upstairs. What about Coogan? He's upstairs. Okay, I'll meet you there. Okay. Quite the intense evening, Mr. Bond. Mm -hmm. Worst part was the spy was beautiful. As they always are. Which, as you know, is, is my weakness. Beautiful spy. Hey, what's up, Parker? What's going on? You mind if I have a second? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Hey, Parker, can I have a word? What's going on, man? So I know about the pain meds. What are you talking about? Come on, I'm trying to give you an opportunity to help yourself out here. I did some research. I know about a year ago you broke your leg in that fire in Donlands. You think you're the first person that's ever happened to? Took a little morphine for the pain, leg wasn't healing right. Am I warm? Look, I'm good, okay? Okay. Hmm. You can either go to Ryder right now and get some help, or I'm gonna do it for you. You really wanna see me get in trouble that bad? No, dude, no. The opposite. I'm trying to get you out of trouble. So you have any more room for me at the Wednesday night poker game? I don't know, a high roller like you wants to play at our penny ante table? Yeah, I'm slumming it with the peasants. It's all good. Well, if you think that you can win without reading our minds, you're more than welcome. How would you know? I got no tells. What about the staring? Let's put on sunglasses. <laughs> nice. So your friend Coogan is cutting deals anywhere he can. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, he pretty much admitted to setting up the whole game to get Phil Cox on the hook. What about the murder? He's claiming self-defense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet his left cheek was twitching when he said that. Yeah. <laughs> what about that, uh, spy? She hasn't said a word. Well, she will. She doesn't know who she's up against. So is that it? I'm sorry I can't give you the 50 grand you won. I want a lot more than that. So don't worry about me. But that's not what I meant. I know. I am. I can't go back there. I'm sorry, I screwed up a good thing. Yeah, me too. Have your lawyer send those papers over to you. I'll sign them this time. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> 